Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for Pisces now. We're doing the roundup today, which usually means we're going to round up the week and talk about everything that's been um, that's been going on this week. Um, the cards that came out were Sell, Sell, Sell and the other card is What Are You Feeling Now? I love this card because it feels like Spirit checking in to see how you're doing, to see what the state of your energy is like. And I feel it most definitely when I look at this card. I feel like they're coming into going, all right, let's check in. Let's see what's going on. And I love this. And the message before it is sell, sell, sell. And this is the one we're going to be doing a reading on. So I'm going to put this one aside. And we're going to look at this one. And it says, it's not creative until unless it sells goes the advertising line you can have the greatest idea in the world but if you can't sell it you won't get very far what are three reasons that someone else would want your idea or product what does it promise and we're going to go one further now it's a strange looking card i have to say even the face looks a little strange to me but the fact is is that there's a mask and the mask is projecting the same thing and for me that feels like I don't know, what mask are you putting on it? Now, I'm going to use the example that I've been given by a spirit. It's, what do you think, okay, sometimes we get wonderful ideas of what we think other people would want, and we try to project that. That can be in relationships, it can be in careers, it could even be, let's say, you started a YouTube channel. You think that people want something, and you try to project that. That would be the mask. But the thing is, Pisces, is they, they want you to know that <clears throat> the best way to offer people what they want is to, by asking the question, what would you want? What would you want? What would make you watch a channel? What would make you want to be in a relationship? What would make you want to have a career? And then to project those things out. Those things that attract you to things are the things that ultimately sell in your life. And they come from a place of, of passionate longing and wanting. The other part of this message is that Whatever you're doing, be passionate about it. If you're not passionate about something, but you're trying to sell it, it's not going to happen. If it doesn't come from um, a place that is true to you, Pisces, it doesn't matter. It's never going to work out. So I feel that that's their main messages here for you, is that even if you decide to let change this part of you into magic and go into this part of you, um, if it's fake to you at any point in this transformation, um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to put a mask on, to project something that you think people want. The importance is, is you have to ask yourself, what would you want? What would be passionate to you? I've recently heard somebody say that they were doing, they decided a while back that they were just going to do what they would love to see. And they don't pay much attention to anything else. So their channel is something of a passion to them, right? I do this because I would do it every day. I love doing this. So maybe it, it's not a sell, sell, sell. I don't really focus too much on, um, I focus a little bit on how to get it out there, um, maybe in titles and stuff, but other than that, I really enjoy doing this, and I hope that when people come here, they resonate, and that's all I really want. I want people to connect and resonate with what I'm saying, and be empowered to be better. And like I said, if they're here for a season or reason, it's okay if they're here forever. I'm so grateful. But I mean, I'm just happy to have people coming to visit, okay? And to know that they're getting something out of it and moving in power within themselves. And I would have wanted to have somewhere to go like that. I would have watched something like that. And I do. There's some reading, readers I do. Um, but it always has to be at a soul level. 
where I get a lot, when I get fed a lot of positive energy that I can use to move forward. So, they're trying to say this. Whatever you're doing, make sure it is A, something that you love doing, not just what you think others. And also, if you're selling yourself, either to work or, or to a relationship or even on a business scale, Make sure that it's something that you love to begin with, that you're passionate about, that you would want. If you are with somebody and you are, or you're trying to get somebody's attention, uh, don't create a fake persona. Instead, be very passionate about who you are and turn it around and see how what would be attractive to you about you. And then work on those best things. Okay, so I hope I'm being clear about that. I know I've talked a lot about it, but sometimes it gets confusing, right? So, let's see. I'm going to pull. Wow! <laughs> it, just, it just went away. It just went... Okay, let me see if I can reach down. Oh, I can't. Oh! I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. And the next one is true manifestations are powered by service and love. Okay, so that's another thing, okay? Love what you do and be a service of others. And that's kind of what I just said, just in a different way, right? Just in a different way, Pisces. It's kind of what I said. Be of service. What do they want? What would you want? What service would you be attracted to and do it with love and passion. Do what you really love. So write those down and remind yourself of this. When you're doing something, what would other people love? Okay? And what do you love about yourself? What do you love most about what you do? All right, Pisces, let's see. <laughs> it's been a good week, Pisces. I feel very good. I feel less like... I feel like it gave you less heck this week. I wonder, do I give you heck? Do you feel like I give you heck? <laughs> Ooh. So we have, again, the death card, the transformation. Data swords. The being bound. Ooh. The Five of Wands. Let's see here. Okay, so I feel what they're saying is that um, transformation arrive or came in because you either felt stuck or um, felt indecisive, restricted. Um, you felt some fear. You felt like you needed to do changes. You're faced with conflict that had that needed solutions because the Five of Wands is a as a card of conflict and problems to solve. And I feel that all of that transformation came through and gave you the resources um, and the beautiful, this actually is the queen, the transformation of the queen of wands. It's the second time she shows up in the spot, I believe. And I don't know, it gave you the creative outlet that you needed, the beautiful confidence, the vibrancy and the inspiration to get out of that. When you have to solve problems, that's when you shine the best, right? That's when you have to really tap into yourself and say, I've, I've got to figure something out. I have to be creative. What's that saying? Um, uh, necessity is the mother of creation. Is that it? I've, I've used this before, but I'm trying to make sure I'm getting it right. And it's because you... Um, it's necessary for you to get unstuck from whatever you're doing. I can't stay here. I can't stay stuck in that type of um, situation. So I need to find a solution. And when you do, you really shine, right? You really shine. So I'm hoping that uh, this week's readings really helped you through that. I really hope so. I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> Okay, so this is the page. This is us, Pisces, the page of hearts. Yeah, the judgment card. Ooh, 
nice row you guys really nice beautiful row to have right here so being more like yourself in other words passionate about what you love what you love in your life being true to you as I said doing what you passionately love but knowing how to sell it by asking yourself what would I want to watch what would I want to see what would attract me to come back to this person to this job to this creation okay so you're accountable the judgment is accountable for the choices you make so if you bring something that you think people will like but you're not passionate about it's not going to work so that's being accountable right of course so you have to really review in your mind release what doesn't work and change what does doesn't work and then go forward in that that's how you're going to get completion and then you get the ten of pentacles happiness um abundance reward right queen of swords there she is again look at her beautiful so don't be don't be surprised but the queen of swords is still there to help you she's still there to help you and show you the way she isn't somebody that you want to dismiss but you need to equal her out there's the justice card coming in you need to put just like you can't be two queen of swords all the time like you can't be two queen of wands all the time you need to mix up those energies and turn them into something that you can use everything needs a balance if you're too much in your brain and you're protecting your heart all the time, it's like going of the mind and not bringing out the passion or the emotion in how you feel about things. And that's how it doesn't work. You turn your passion to life into a, a simply a business decision that has that doesn't have much passion. So all you need to do this week in this beautiful seven and chariot card is to just simply grab your momentum and drive it in the direction you want okay take that energy and stick it to one direction harness your resources your resources to go to where you want to go okay so you need to drive that you need to drive that you are the one in charge of manifesting what you want out of life Absolutely. These have been some really powerful and beautiful readings this week, Pisces. Um, <clears throat> I feel that you're really working at something. I feel that you, you're, I keep feeling that you're on the cusp of something wonderful. And I, you know, I'm going to tell you something. It feels like you're, you're listening or hearing or waiting for that key, for that word for that phrase, for that sentence that resonates to you in a way that you're going, well, of course, that's what I need. Well, of course, well, of course, that's, that's what I've been waiting for. God, it's so simple. And it happens to me all the time. Sometimes I can hear the same thing over and over again, but it feels until my energy resonates with it, I'm not ready to receive the message. And I feel that somehow, some way, within the next, uh, the last few weeks, and the maybe now and the upcoming few weeks, you're going to get that kind of information. Maybe not even from me. Maybe what somebody says, you know, haphazardly, and you're going to go, "That's it. That's what I needed. That's that's what I was waiting for." So it's quite wonderful and quite empowering, my beautiful Pisces. So there's definitely a transformation coming in. And this transformation is going to help you be who you need to be. Get you out of your uh, one-sided brain. Okay, like the, the left and the right side. They're just showing me right side brain, left side brain. Um, they're showing like the the boundaries kind of melting down and you being able to integrate and then you're going to be able to to um really drive that with the horses you know you have not the horses the sphinx of the different colors the ones who are driving um a more balanced way of doing if you had one moving forward and the one moving back the the chariot would be all you know weird 
and you need them to move in unison and that's what I feel you're getting yourself in unison it feels like the chakras are aligning and everything's kind of moving together for you you're going to feel at peak optimum levels at one point um, I hope so, Pisces, because I have I've been really tired this week, but um, still very much able and capable to do what I need to do. Just you know, a little bit um, wanting to stay in bed longer, wanting the covers over my head a little bit. Um, weather's been a little bit rainy, so that's probably why. But um, yeah, I'm I'm hoping that after this period of rest this period of like really thinking things through that things the energy is going to shift and I'm gonna feel that beautiful summer energy that everybody loves so much where the Sun is shining and the flowers are blooming and you feel re-energized and revitalized so you have the beautiful Queen of Wands here coming out twice showing you the vibrancy and beauty coming into your life which is what I feel it's going to bring such abundance equalize your life again equalization the two the chariot I love the two sphinx it's telling me that everything's kind of falling into place and all came in because you held yourself accountable you held yourself responsible for everything in your life and even the things that you didn't think you were responsible responsible for this week have been coming in to tell you that maybe you were you know without even knowing you were shifting things without even knowing you just needed to shift things. Things needed to change somehow. So that's it, beautiful Pisces. This is it for uh, this reading. We're going to come back with what beautiful spirit is asking you with what are you feeling now? And tomorrow we're going to do a beautiful healing uh, reading. Um, before, yeah, is it before the month of June? Or are we in the month of, no, we're in the month of June. We're in the month of June. Wow, I'm in the last month. Okay, so we're going to do the healing for June. And hmm, today is the full moon in Sagittarius. So fire, fire is going to be in your chart now. So make sure to use that fire uh, in a way that's going to bring you into that that wands energy that you need to move forward. We did the reading for this if you wanted to see it. We did it I believe last week. Did we? Let me see. My brain is like I don't remember what I do Pisces. But yes I do believe we did it last week. Last Sunday. So if you haven't seen it or missed it somehow you can always go watch that and see what that will bring in. I thank you everybody for being here, for being of great support. We are now at 17,000 strong. I am so happy. Um, I'm grateful. Uh, on our way to 20, which is, you know, amazing to me. And uh, thank you so much for being part of my life, part of my journey. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings, and I will see you later on. Take care.